the, uh, this is the overall Im impression of the project. Uh, we sat in July and actually did probably 12 to 15 different model studies for different configurations of how the site could work. Uh, and an emphatic uh, requirement uh, put to us by Brookfield was that this be part of the city that this not be developed as an enclave, but that it feel uh, part and, and fully parcel of the city. This makes this diagram. You see the high line wandering through. The fully contiguous figure of the green space as one contiguous figure. There are stairs, <coughs> grand stairs, and ramps that connect the uh, levels that have to happen here. And then they bring you up onto the upper uh, level of the deck. The streets continue through, the avenues continue through, and we now have relatively small footprints for the buildings meeting the ground. We also, in this um, section here, between 31st and 30th Street, we have a 150 foot uh, deep park with the High Line sitting in it. And then we have another 150 foot deep transition zone here. Uh, where we have public stairways and ramps and large platforms here for residential towers to sit on. So the whole uh, southern edge here is one of residential towers. This, these were developed by shop architects, the base of which have uh, uh, cafes and galleries that spill out into the West Chelsea Promenade or the High Line Park, at grade with the street and allow us to negotiate these complex level changes from 5 to 35, from 27 to 35, from 17.5 to 35, etc. It's a quite complicated uh, diagram, but one that I think makes, uh, makes sense of this, uh, of this proposal. This then produces the plan. You see the residential towers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, the base of those, the full base of those, <coughs> are uh, cafes, bookstores, and galleries that are fronting this 2.1 linear park with the high line running through it. A large cultural uh, building that terminates Hutchin Boulevard and Slap uh, uh, on, on access. Two uh, commercial towers with uh, training for uh, footprints and first few stories with a public uh, space. The large space we call Hudson uh, Place, a hotel building, two commercial buildings, a residential building, and a spectacular two-tower residential building uh, with a children's museum at its base, designed by Dillis Video and uh, A sky exposure analysis shows that this configuration improves uh, openness to the sky by 6 to 10%. Uh, over the over the client base, it shows that we are able to improve the uh, availability of sky for the whole development over the base. I think the Eastern Rail Yards, the base asks for 40 percent. We provide 47 percent, an increase of 20 percent. And for the green open space, um, we're providing nearly 13 acres of green open space. Uh, the Western Railway Yard requirement was 5.5 acres, we're providing 6.3, or 25% increase. And in an area of the city that is really starved for significant green open space, this would be a great figure indeed, in terms of uh, contributing a very generous amount of green open space, comprising three primary parks, the spot in the middle, the Hudson Place, the West Chelsea High Line Park, and the Hudson Green on the southwest corner, and the bridge connection on 32nd Street connecting the whole development to the Hudson River Park. Uh, Hudson Place is designed as a, as a public open space to work with the cultural facility. This was designed by Sejima. It's a very low, flat, horizontal glass uh, building. Gary will say more about that. But the idea of this space is that this is a uh, media, arts, culture space that interacts with the uh, life of that building. Adjacent to that is Hudson Hall. This is really a large uh, space in between the two um, uh, commercial buildings. 
Um, as Gary will describe, this structure is related to the train tracks below in terms of how the buildings uh, can support themselves without interfering with the tracks below. <coughs> but it also creates this great public room uh, that can be uh, temporarily shaded and sheltered, but can also support uh, everyday public life as well as special events. Uh, the distinctive feature is the West Chelsea Promenade. <coughs> it ties the High Line uh, together. We have the residential towers and the commercial building and an at-grade access along 30th Street. You see here in these two sections how the upper left of the deck can transition down a series of stairs and come to the 150-foot deep park. And finally, Hudson Green is really a large open space oriented toward uh, neighborhood recreation, families, uh, picnicking, frisbee, sunning, uh, 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 bringing the children out for the day, strolling, getting great views and vistas across the river, uh, play amenities, and trying to tie some gardens into the uh, Children's Art Museum. Uh, that's part of the, uh, of the building. 